Welcome back, everyone. Death and taxes. You know how that old saying goes, right? They're the only two certainties in life. If something were to happen to you today, though, what would that mean for your loved ones? There is a very large segment of the population that has not even thought of an estate plan. Attorney Tom Leitner joins us today. Tom, thank you, first of all, so very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. This is a, a topic you're very passionate about. It is. Why? Well, it may sound obvious to some, <laughs> but. About 10 years ago, uh, my father died, and uh, he had a reasonable estate, but absolutely no estate plan. And uh, it was an absolute mess for my brother and myself. We spent huge amounts of money at attorney's fees and estate taxes that we absolutely didn't have to pay. So I uh, am trying to you know, advocate that people get their estate plans in order so that, that kind of stuff doesn't happen to them. For those that may not think that they need one, what exactly does an estate plan entail? Like what would it help take care of? Questions answered. So the simple answer is an estate plan basically makes sure your stuff gets where you want it to go when you die. If you don't have an estate plan, the state will take care of that for you, and that may not be exactly what you want. Estate plans can be very simple, like just a will. They can be slightly more complicated, a will with a trust, all the way up to living trusts and guardianships, things that can help you if you become incapacitated while you're alive, and things that make sure your things get where they're going the way you intended when you die. Okay, so an estate plan is something that you're advocating for. Yes. How does that partner with some of the other documents? Power of, medical power of attorney, some of those things. Right. Does this take care of some of what might be answered well, during some of those other documents, or do you need them all? You, most people don't need everything. Um, People, you know, individuals need individual things as one gets older. Having powers of attorney for health care and for finances becomes more of a priority because people are living longer and they may not be able to deal with those issues. Um, younger people, especially if they have children, absolutely should have wills because if they. That's my next question. Sorry to anticipate, but, no, if, but okay. if they both die at the same time, they need something in place to take care of their children. Which. Do you find that this is a really hard thing for most people to talk about? I think I mean, it's an impossible thing for most well, people to talk about. I mean, when you think about your own mortality, it's not really a pleasant thing it, to have It's very to difficult, about. yeah, very difficult. What would you say to, to those folks out there that tend to shy away from this? And I, I talk to friends all the time um, who have not considered doing this yet um, and are surprised that I do. So what would you say to them to encourage them to, to get this done? You know, to my mind, we insure things all the time uh, against disasters that have a very small probability of happening, like house insurance, for example. There's no reason why you shouldn't take out this kind of insurance policy on your loved ones if something should happen to you. It's a low probability event, but it, it, you know, it can be done very quickly, relatively inexpensively, and it ensures that things will happen the way you want them to. And it won't leave a huge mess for those, obviously, that you're right. trying to protect and care about That's right. when you're gone. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Anything you. else you want to leave? Parting words? Ha. Huh. Well, I have lots of words. I don't know if you have uh, the time for me to leave these parting words. Yeah, so I'm getting I'll just say thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in, All right. bringing up a, a topic that uh, we should be thinking about. Thanks, Tom. David George's final check on your forecast, and we come back.